Hey guys, I'm Seb and I'm going to cast this game. Um, I have been requested by Proper Plan to review this game for him. So I'll just um, start directly. Um, I'm at 6 seconds. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, no, it doesn't actually really stop doing that. Um, that counter when I'm alone, it's um, anyway using sometimes fast forward and all that stuff in my video. So there's absolutely no point in. <laughs> in yeah making countdown. Um I might try something special for this one. Um I might call it blind review. Um I'll try to just watch the American play and not his opponent. Um I've been doing I I'll try doing that because I've been requested to cast my own games or live or maybe afterwards. And I feel like doing that um which is just um, looking at one player might be close to the situation I would be if I was casting while I was playing which is not um, being aware of what the opponent is doing and so just reacting to to what happens in the games from just one player's pe perspective um, obviously I will only be able to command the play from one player in such case um, but yeah, I don't know if it has <laughs> been done already by anyone, but I'll just try that and see how it goes. So we have um, two engineers start um, with an interesting <laughs> recapping position in cover. Um, I guess he's not afraid of anything, but it's nice for the camera. Um, and riflemen start um, capping that f that um, cut off point. I'm not sure if he's going for there or there afterwards. If he's going for Domination, he could be using Cap Wall King um, to just cap the two points very fast. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of easy to do it on some whites, one of the only map on which I'm I actually managed to do it correctly. Um, I, I think it might be possible with some strange move to, to do some Cap Wall King to that point too, but I never really managed to do it. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, he's going for if he left, so yeah, I guess he wants to force probably the pioneers that will be there to retreat to the first rifleman. Um, I, ju I usually like to do that, and also often um, here I didn't do it, but I'm when I'm playing, I'm listening over the fog of war to to know if there is wars coming up, and if I hear there's wars, should be careful there. That's the typical timing for the engineers to be to be caught there on by the Volks on that bridge. So now, e every time after I cap this mission, I go for that area because I know there's often Volks there. So yeah, back to the wires. If I heard them being put by by pioneers, I would send the engineer to cut them and cap the fuel instead of the rifleman. Um, so he saw the Volks at this position, so he could be expecting the Volks to be. I mean, capping this point and then being there and probably helping the other. So there's no way that one rifleman could win the fight in the middle because the other one is there. Um, so he's, he has to be waiting for them, but then the machine gun might be there. And that's when we'll see actually if the Vermite player has gone for maybe a machine gun. And um, I mean, covering that fuel, you will see that with, with this. If it's if it's covering the fuel with a machine gun, those two riflemen and maybe the engineers might be able to win against the two Volks. Um, if there's no machine gun, then yeah, in there's wars, so he should have sent the engineers instead. He should have listened over the fog of war to know if there was wires or not. Um, yeah, then if the machine gun actually came to the middle instead of covering the fuel. Um, then he should not fight in the middle and just uncap the fuel. Um, anyway, we've seen there's no machine gun, but actually a third Volks. Um, which means um, maybe Volks spam. I would be really tempted to go for bars when I see so much Volks. Um, this fight might be good for American because there are some units behind, and that means those Volks might have to. I mean. They are not cover is directional, so they are not in, in cover from those riflemen. And the flamethrowers will easily kill. He shouldn't rush over that through that cover road. Um, he, he will probably use a squad. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. He should have just stayed with the 
engineers in safe position uh, behind that wall or something like that but it's actually a forward HQ um, it's also possible to spot it um, if you look there should there must be open window somewhere yeah there it is those windows have been opened um, by the engineers so if you're looking over the fog of war from the start of the game you can notice um, there is the window open and I guess for the forward HQ if you're really paying attention to every details you could you could have known it um, before ever before that that point and against forward HQ is taking bars that's exactly the appropriate counter however should be avoiding the, the fights until there's the bar coming because otherwise you will lose the rifleman manpower and when the bar will be upgrade it, there, there won't be any unit to fight, left left to fight so you should be avoiding the fight, just cover the middle yeah, against forward HQ you must be really careful against mines and it's really unfortunate that you lost that first engineers because it means no minesweepers and she also upgraded the other one um, that's unfortunate um, you should be now only blobbing rifleman and focus firing volks one after the other because that's how it works against forward HQ, there's no machine gun to suppress, so just the bars will completely decimate the Volks if you are focus firing. Um, you should be focus firing one squad, I'm not sure why you're not trying to kill this one. Um, I guess since, yeah I don't know, you lost that engineers, so you have less scapping power, um, you should probably still get one more to get the minesweeper also um, at that point in the game you should be fighting with your four four riflemen you should be definitely fighting against those volks because he absolutely has nothing to stop you from killing everything you just have much greater fi firepower than him if you're marking correctly and taking the good covers and positioning correctly you should win any fight really easily um, yeah so you should be fighting at that point in the game until he has to to best ar to good army, um, you should just be careful to mines. But otherwise, uh, yeah, you, you didn't pick the fight really well, since you had to retreat that one. The others are still alive. You should get triage. That's a nice move. Um, but you should, you could have been winning those fights if you took them correctly. This one will not be able to win alone against two three volks. Um, that's kind of sad. If you time properly the bar upgrade and good positioning on the map with the rifleman you could have completely forced him to retreat and basically won the game in almost now um, and you got one more that's really dangerous to get that one more um, flamethrowers um, you should be getting minesweeper really that's the only thing that can prevent your rifleman to completely kill his army it's um, mines so I'm not sure what you yeah I guess you don't really have a good plan um, you should be careful though because since he went forward HQ he didn't spend fuel on tier 1 and he kept his fuel for the whole game so far so that means he will probably have tier 3 at some point um, pretty fast actually he might actually already be building it um, on his base so you should be careful to not stay too long if you cut off the fuel you could be really going for heavy infantry as you did but Otherwise, you should be really careful to tier 3 and have an appropriate counter. Um, a little trick there, sometimes there is a mine in that position, so you could just use the flamethrower to burn the area before going there, just to be careful, same for that area. Um, and yeah, there's finally a fight coming. Um, I'm not sure, it seems like you once again fighting with not really your full army. Um, you should be focus firing in one squad, just grab all your units click on some guys <laughs> and just completely kill them um, don't rush out of cover like that those guys are not in cover since um, cover is a directional so you should be uh, kill the medics now that you see them you should be focusing the medic first and as you see you've damaged uh, pretty much every squad and if you focus fired one squad you could have completely um, killed that squad already so yeah nice finally nice push with all your army um, you didn't kill the medic though, so you might get a free squad. I'm not sure why you're not killing the medics. Um, but yeah, at that point, nice 
that should always be like that and there's no way with forward HQ to counter a rifleman and bars like like this um, quite unfortunately you didn't kill those those guys um, you completely push the guy out of the map so laying mines is nice but when there's the forward HQ and the bunker he will see you laying the mines so there's no point in this one really um, and as I said um, I would be really scary, scary of tier 3 at that point um, you should get demolition charge to counter the bunker but maybe not now since you need yeah there's the tier 3 you could have been expecting expecting it and be ready for it since 2, two or 3 minutes as I said um, um, usually on Samoa I would I think just put an observation post on the fuel so I can go for tank depot um, after the afterwards um, uh, since you are in such good position, maybe you had the command points, you could be using um, rangers or airborne and just sitting there, killing the bunker with the elite infantry squad and that would have been delaying the, the puma I mean, if you sit there with the airborne and rifleman, you couldn't get out of the bridge without taking damage so you that could have been a possibility um, So you're going for the motor pool instead, um, I guess that's the only thing you can do at that point since you don't have the fuel for the tank depot. You get sticky bombs, it's always nice to prevent um, Puma from being too much aggressive. Um, but I'm afraid you didn't capitalize on that nice push you did. Um, also yeah, you should definitely have sent the engineers to pre prevent the fuel at some point if the vols were that's really I mean this strat is really weak actually on this map it's it's like the worst possible Vermont strat because there's no way to prevent um, the the, um, the vols there um, to cover the, f the forward HQ and the center of the map and the fuel at the same point so basically if he's there you just go for the fuel if he's reacting to the fuel you push him out completely out of the middle and that's it so that's really kind of easy to win against such strategy um, you're putting yourself in bad position um, by yourself by doing that those rangers are coming too late you could have gone for them like four minutes ago and they would have a bet much better impact on those pumas but now they're coming late you're, you've been pushed out of in the middle and let the guy come back that's kind of unfortunate um, you could have done better so I guess yeah, you saw the neighbor, uh, the Puma, so you can expect neighbor warfords and Stook and maybe an officer, but <laughs> yeah, an officer wouldn't really the, the, uh, require an appropriate counters. Um. But so yeah, you you know you have to counter that Puma. You probably won't be able to kill it with just one rangers. Um, still, yeah, the mines. You should definitely have a minesweeper at that point. And I'm afraid you're in really bad position. Um, you can get an AT gun, but it might be overrun by those Volk spam or by neighbor wafers. Um, you could get an M8 to do some damage since there's probably no pack. Um, he will, and also his defensive, so no stormtroopers. You would probably have a hard time to uh, actually counter an M8, and um, there's two um, preventing M8 to just do anything to. I mean to really run over the map but it cannot really kill it um, effectively it's more preventing it from from rushing too far but it's not really the best possible counter to a mate so you could be using the mate to do some Volk killing to prevent pioneers to cap the map behind you stuff like that um, but you're getting the Eti gun instead um, I guess yeah, you will need it at some point to convert the stook anyway, but I'm not sure. Since you went for rangers, maybe you could have put the observation post and waited just a bit longer for the tank depot instead of going for the the motor pool. <laughs> um, I don't know, but still, uh, if a two days to Puma and that's tag, um, your infantry still has n normally a huge. Um, um, I mean much better firepower against the Volks so you could still maybe make the rifleman blob and just completely 
um, crush the Volks and push out of, push him out of the map. I mean, you can kill easily the Volks. You see, the Stug is not doing too much damage, so you could still be killing the Volks as you did um, before, and then just force him to move move away. I mean, if you have sticky bombs and rangers, he will be forced to actually react and move move away from from this. Um, ah, I forgot. Yeah, I got that. Um, grenadiers, you should be careful when you're fighting grenadiers. Obviously, to grenades, um, try to micro away from them. And you think you let the guy get too much victory points? Um, um, yeah, he's really draining you, so that might be costing you the game and in the long run. Um, I think you won't get still the HQ, so you could ever most e easily um, force the Volks to retreat. Um, yeah, you're kind of in a bad position. There's that AT gun coming. Um, that might force the Stug to retreat. And you should sticky. I'm not sure if you're paying attention or not. But you should definitely use the sticky bomb. That may that will be the end of that Stug. Um, very bad micro by your opponent. However, be careful to not retreat all your infantry. Because otherwise, as I expected, the AT gun can be overrun by infantry and Nebel. I already heard the Nebel firing. So if you get for the AT gun, you definitely need your infantry to support it um, and not use the AT gun when you might really lose it. Um, so yeah, I don't know, the AT gun also is not able to react to such such thing like moving Puma. T you could focus fire that Volk squad and completely kill it, even if he tries to retreat now, I think it will di die on the retreat. I, I'm not sure why you're moving. You should have stayed there and just focus fire and kill that guy. Um, you could have easily finished that full squad. It's unfortunate that you moved uh, like that. Um, so yeah, the guys are rushing you in the victory point, in the munitions, in the start. You should really be careful to victory point. And I'm surprised the guy doesn't have more unit yet. Um, I feel like he had lots of resources. And yeah, I don't know. I think you should maybe getting either artillery or just a mortar since there's the basically the guy is waiting like that since the start and if you had a mortar you would force him to move and to react because with only infantry you can just fight near the bunker and keep reinforcing since he's defensive um, yeah if you got a mortar you, you would force all of the squads to react to move and you should be more focus firing instead of Hitting on this squad, you should have also that AT gun. Um, you can bring him to your base to reinforce and hit the, the guys on the trash center because otherwise you will lose it more easily. And yes, yeah, I, as I said, that's a typical situation when you get an AT gun. In such case, you always end up being overrun and lose the AT gun. And if you're not careful, you may also lose one squad. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. So that was a um, bad play, basically you're left with your same units as much earlier in the game because you lost that AT gun now. The guy should be attacking move, the AT gun, I think he's not sure if he's doing it or not. He should be definitely killing the AT gun uh, to prevent you from getting it bad and instead he's not being careful and he's getting sticky once again, that's not good micro, um, he's losing too much vehicles. Um, by not paying attention, once again he's rushing with the stool he once again I guess you have sticky bomb that you will <laughs> easily kill kill it I'm not sure why you're not using sticky bomb, you have plenty of munitions you should definitely be using the sticky on that stook and also on this one, the puma was um, immobilized anyway, you could have um, um, I mean throw the sticky at that stook and then grab the etigan back with that um, rifleman and you could be finishing all, all of them, basically the guy is not marking well, really not. I'm not sure why not, still not taking the ATIG and um, makes no sense, you could be killing them. And there's the Nebel now, be careful um, to burning damage because you could lose those Wangers, they're re really really low health, um, so be really careful. You should probably be using the AP round since you have plenty of munitions. 
And yeah, finally it's down. Um, at that point you should really upgrade the demolition charge to kill that bunker, especially since he's defensive. Um, that will take a while of the rise. And yeah, you should be getting that. Um, if you're going for the off map, yeah, getting the supplier upgrade upgrade one is really nice, since you'll have uh, plenty of fuel anyway because you're just spending manpower in the off map. So that's that's cool. Um, so yeah, the the guy. I think basically the guy is holding because there is the bunker. If you got demolition, and I really hope for you, you will get a mortar from the off map group um, because that's really what you need at that point. You will need the mortar, either to use smoke and allow engineers to use demolition shards, or just to directly use the barrage ability and kill the bunker. Um, you should be careful. I mean, yeah, the Nebel will shoot blah bling like that. Um, if at all there's no machine gun, the Nebel can really damage you and force you to completely retreat. So you should be careful to that Nebel. Also, at some point, you have lots of munitions, you should get grenades. It's always useful to have grenades. Um, I'm surprised the guys aren't using much more mines. I think he should also have plenty of munitions. Um, you could, I um, instead of having to put your Tigan in dangerous position there to hit the Stug, you could use attack ground to kill the, the edge over there and then you could ever put the Tigan in safe position there and still hit the Stug there um, just to be more safe. You should, I'm not sure why you're idling, I'm not capping with that squad. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I feel like you could be really winning, I mean you have the guy wasn't really good with um, his micro, he lost some units pretty badly and you, you're getting some nice veteran seat, it's always like that however there's the medics giving him free squads over and over I think it's the second or third one already so you should pay much more attention on kill killing medics still the idling, you're really wasting time um, yeah you could focus fire one squad if always for the fat land the guy believe he's in invincible but if you're focus firing you could quite quickly kill that squad in red cover i'm not sure why you're moving because when you're moving you're doing much less damage so you shouldn't have been moving like that you should have been focus firing since the start and yeah there it is um squad squad loss nice play by by you um going building inside against from tour is not a good idea and yeah, losing that bazooka is also not really going to do good. Be careful to also not lose the engineer. Um, I guess the, um, the medic station will pay for itself because you will get that more squad. But I'm not sure if you actually need it. Um, one more squad. Once again, the AT gun unsupported. You should have um, moved him, moved it much earlier. And because you picked that fight, you had to reinforce and you're dealing the off map, so that's not really good. You should have waited. Um, the guy should focus your medics. I'm not sure why he's not doing it. Um, but yeah, if you're waiting for the off map group, you should not fight during that time. You should just wait for the, um, the man port to be good and then send all of your units plus the off map group. Um, I guess he sh he's met putting a mines there. Um, you should be focus firing the engineer because you load bio because you could kill it easily and use attack ground with the flamer on the mine because it's it was really obvious and you need that AT gun so just burn the ground um, and then take the AT gun I guess yeah <laughs> it's I'm not sure why you didn't realize it and that squad fighting alone is not good once again you'll have to retreat and if you keep doing that all the game you will keep reinforcing and you will never call the off map group so you should definitely be waiting um, that's really not good to to be fighting constantly and reinforcing constantly wait when you're waiting for the off map to be called and the guy had so much resource at least his defensive doctrine so you don't really have to be afraid of um, so bad you lost that, that one you don't really have to be afraid of um, I mean tiger or king tiger 
and I'm actually wondering what he's doing with his manpower because it seems to me that like, like you're losing a lot of manpower compared to him and yet he's not really getting much more in it. I guess he's spamming Stook which is nice. Um, definitely I would advise him to do that but I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have more of them already. Um, using the artillery I'm not sure what you aimed with the artillery. Um, yeah, kind of strange. If you had aimed for behind, you could have killed the Stook, but you just aimed in the middle of nothing. Um, <laughs> that was kind of a waste of of munitions. Um, still, um, demolition charge to kill the bunker. You really need at some point. Since um, you have the fuel supply at level two, because you're still waiting for the off map, but you keep reinforcing, so you still didn't call it. If you called it just when you unlocked it, you would already have like M10 or stuff like that, and you would already be killing that those guys. So that's, that's that you didn't uh, wait for it. And once again, why are you doing that? You're spending 150 munitions on the bunker. It probably won't ever kill it. Um, if you get demolition charge, it's only uh, 50 munitions. It's much much cheaper, much cost cost effective. You just spend um, 300 munitions and you still didn't kill that bunker. That's really painful to see. I'm not sure why. I, I often see people doing that. It's just so, so bad. Doing that. Never throw it around bunker. It's, it's just so bad. Just get demolition on the HQ for the engineers. It's much better. And finally, um, off map call, but it's coming a bit late. Um, it's actually a lucky of, of map because you got rangers on it. Um, so it's really cost effective, one just an M10. But it's not really what you needed. I mean, um, you would have done much better if you got like one more tower on it, maybe a machine gun to cover the victory point from those infantry spam. Um, the M10 is good, obviously, but one M10 alone, I'm not sure where's your AT gun. Mm. Yeah, I I'm really not sure where it's your AT gun, but one M10 is not going to do it against two stuck, so don't send the M10 alone. Um, where's the AT gun? Um, I didn't see that. I didn't see how you lost it. But I uh, there it is, so you should um, repair with engineers that AT gun. Grab it back, uh, repair it, and then use it uh, and combine with the M10. Um, use attack ground to kill the edge. That edge is really preventing you from direct assault. It's creating a huge... Uh, um, area there for you, it's kind of bad. Um, what else? Um, yeah, you have so much infantry. I think with sort of that, you could, you should at least send one to be capping the map and one behind, well like all of those guys. So, any veteran C, you send them one for capping this, one for grabbing the map there, and the others you use them to assault the position, kill the edge by attacking attacking ground to really open your, your possibilities and then you can easily finish the guy like one sticky bomb on the stug I like with this one, he's the guy is really not paying attention to sticky bomb and if you kept the AT gun you could f easily finish it and if you finish one then finish the other one and over the course of the game you could win that easily um, try to focus fire when you see their building. You should be stopping to walk. Just stand still, focus fire the guy building, and you will finish the squad easily. If you had grenades, also you could maybe force them out of buildings. Um, I'm not sure why you're not getting the Eti gun back. I really don't understand. Maybe there's a bug preventing you. I don't know, but you definitely need that Eti gun, and there you should be going to cover. I guess you will not face any other unit. Um, I mean, the guys yeah said it's defensive, he's spamming Stug, so he's probably not going tier three, uh, tier four, or anything else. So basically, you shouldn't expect anything else from the guy, um, except um, maybe more veterancy, making his army better. And you definitely already have the units um, required to to counter him, so you just need to use them correctly. Um, kill this the edge and just get in. Nice that you're capping the map because it might be out of pop cap at some point or also just having less resources. Um, 
You should get the level 2 since you have plenty of fuel. You should definitely get it. This you might finish that squad if you're nicely focused firing. Um, I'm not sure why you didn't. Um, I mean, you could expect the guy from retreating. So you could have already put. I'm not sure ever why those rangers are not upgraded. Um, they're definitely better against infantry. And um, be still careful not using that alone. As I said earlier, it's not going to work if you're using it alone. You need to work with the AT gun, rifleman, and rangers together to defeat um, those two because you're kind of letting him get that nice army. You should get veteran C3 on them. But yeah, you should be f um, taking care of one after the other with the AT gun, um, AP rounds, stuff like that. And those might be become really dangerous um, because they there start to be green cover everywhere on the map with those craters. Um, so be careful there once again. It's not really it's really not good to throw sticky bombs when you know the guy will be able to repair easily because you just lost the munitions. The guy can repair for free. So yeah, be careful to those flamers because on such map when there start to be green cover everywhere. Um, the veteran C pioneer flamers will completely rape all of your squads and you won't be able to kill it. So um, that might become a problem, those, those flamers might really become a problem for you. So you should probably get um, something, uh, maybe maybe snipers or at least maybe shermans. I don't know, but you should be getting something still the worst since the start. Send an engineer since the start of the game there. Um, so yeah, you should maybe, I don't know, but get something because those will become a problem. Um, it makes a huge blob of them. And you got artillery. I mean, why not? But I'm afraid it's a bit late to have a nice impact. There's already a lot of stug. Um, there's not so much infantry left, so I think you your best bet would really be um, overrun this infantry with your infantry and then bring in the Yeti gun that you still didn't get. I'm I really, um, I I'm really don't understand um, that you don't get that Yeti gun. And you should, during the role game, you should be harassing the fuel much, much more. Um, especially when he's going for the forward HQ and every if in front in the middle you can very very easily arrest that fuel and prevent him to have any fuel during almost the whole game so that's something you should have done mm -hmm. you could once again be focused firing without moving yeah finally you're doing it and as you see that really is killing the guy quite fast so just stay out of flamer range though because they're deadly I'm not sure what you're trying with those rangers. Um, those flamers are really a problem. Um, and yeah, I, I don't understand that it again. That's really costing you the game to not get it back. It's really costing you the game. And at that point, I mean, if you let the guy get so much, so much to, you will. I mean, you can have as much veterans as you want, as much nice stuff you will you would lose because I mean at that point I, I at some point I will not ever be able to tell yeah you should be doing that because you will have been throwing throwing it away and what's left will be the consequences you have way too much infantry squad um, yeah eight riflemen two rangers you have t really too much infantry squads and not enough of the rest 80 guns and stuff like that um, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I think you should not use the lowest. I mean, those guys with only one kill in over 20. Keep them one guy or reverse, reverse suicide them. And just use the best infantry squad because you're the, the already you should have um, spray at two because see your man power rate, it's really so low. You should be doing something against it. It's really hurting you. And for me, yeah, the I think. It's like the game is almost lost at that point. Um, what could you do? Um, I'm not sure what you could do anymore. 
at that point that flag might actually be cool for you because you actually need AT so <laughs> if you manage to, to grab that flag I'm not sure why the guy is getting a flag to counter just one guys yeah, so that flag might actually save your game if you manage to completely overrun him with solo your infantry and you could grab the flag and actually kill the <laughs> units uh, I think he, he would have done much better by getting even more stook or ever getting um, pioneer and stuff like that yeah, a huge. I think a huge pioneer with with flamers would just counter everything you have easily. You should be repairing the Etigan um, because it doesn't have enough health. So um, and be careful since it's defensive. Register the ulti read. Never. Yeah, it's really sad against. <laughs> That's losing that eighty gun. Well, I really think at that point <laughs> you've done so much. I will go a bit. Um, I'm not sure. I'll make a pause one second. Yeah, there it is. So I close some application to my CPU so I can fast forward a bit because at that point I don't see how you could come back in the game, and I see the game still long. I don't really understand how it, how it could still be long because. He has so much you need, so much to give a C, so much pioneers, he could easily put all of the stuck in the line in front of your bridge and completely finish the game right now. He has a critical mass of units that you cannot counter anymore. You could really just put the stug in a row there and prevent you <laughs> to ever get out of your base. Yeah, getting that AT gun is nice move. I'm a bit afraid it won't be enough. Um, I think, yeah, you finally got the grenades. So that's nice, but game work quite quickly. But yeah, Rangers are deadly in close range. If he's using those, he should be blobbing them and keeping, yeah, really decimating you. Um, I'm not sure why the guy is not using all of his units together. I, I thought he had much more stuck than two. And I'm not sure why he's um, showing his frontal, uh, his rear armor to Rangers. Um, I really don't, don't get that. He's really using them strangely. I mean, he should keep them together or just block you there. He could finish the game easily. Mm. And just use the AT gun to kill the... The naval to kill the AT guns. And that would be it for him. I'm not sure why he's keeping waiting for you on that area. He should definitely at some point push forward. He could be capping the whole map with some pioneers. And putting you completely um, pop capped, out of pop cap and out of the field because he has much better army um, the game should be over already actually the guy is just making too long for nothing um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm trying to put myself in your position and thinking about what I would do to actually come back and I, I don't really know I mean yeah getting that 80 gun is nice um, relying on that guy bad micro is nice also the guy really microing them so badly that you could actually yeah, not leaving the game and trying your chance because considering is not really good you might expect you to come back because of his fuck up um, you should be going for the, the flag as I said at that point I think he has no, no unit left to protect it so you should bef definitely send some guys and just <laughs> capture it and then bring your Tegan there to prevent him from getting out of the bridge capture the, um, the flag and you basically you're, you're still in a good position you could you forced him out of the middle so you could just um, rely on that and finish the, f the game I mean the guy is also probably out of poke cap at that point you could grab that 88 and counter the stoop with it and with your Tegan also I'm not sure why you didn't use the, um, the time he gave you to actually take that 80 gun, that 88 then get, I don't get it um, still no, if you had demolition charge you will kill that much earlier um, really when he, when he moved away you could have completely overrun everything he had um, when you hit on a ball you should have moved the 80 gun, I would put it there but be careful, send your infantry because at some point he might overrun you He's really using the stook so badly, it's really really bad. Um, you should use AP rounds, you have the munition. 
Um, you could easily finish them. Yeah, one more is down. I'm not sure that guy alone will be able to do good, but stop moving. You should ref definitely, especially when they return C3. Just stop moving, focus fire, and you will completely decimate the squad so easily. You should focus fire that engineer, that pioneer. Will be killed. I'm not sure why you focus the Volks instead. The flame was much, much more deadlier against that cover than the Volks. Um, I'm not sure what you're trying to do there. Just go for that. That 88. I wha I'm so much infantry. You, you should just capture it. That grenade was really obvious. You should have used much earlier. Just when he entered in the building, so he couldn't escape on time. And get the 88 at in best case you kill stuff with it. In the worst case he actually has to to kill the 88 to prevent you from damaging himself, so I don't understand why you're not <laughs> doing it. You could have yeah, you could still have won that game ten times with that. Yeah, I'm not talking too much anymore because I don't really have anything left to say. I mean, the game is the same since 20 minutes and my advice are the same since 20 minutes. So I don't really have much to add to, add to this. Um, just continue what you're doing, but actually grab the, the 88. Actually keep your t gun alive to kill the Stug. Um, and that would be it. This is nice going for capping the map. It's really nice. Um, I'm not sure that artillery you, you have it in so long and still did nothing. So definitely, the Oitzer was on a good move um, when you got it. You shouldn't have, I guess. Um, you should still get the supply at level two. It's a huge mistake to not getting it. Um, yeah, one more T gun. That's what you need. I'm not sure why you're keeping throwing sticky bombs. Um, really, you should really do it. And every artillery on moving units, that's really not wise. And those, yeah, those uh, engineers are really doing you damage. I think sniper would have been cool. One or two snipers from you would have been really cool. And the guy has reached such a critical army with everything but run C3. Um, all that stuff. And you keep sending two guys after two other guys. You keep losing them, it's kind of unfortunate. Um, and that artillery is still not doing much. Um, I really think not getting the 88 for yourself was turning point um, because now it's killing your AT gun and yeah those, those pioneers are really deadly as I expected them they would be at some point they're really deadly against you you still I g yeah the guy is so, so compy in this position you're still not that bad position um, could have finished the game much much earlier Artillery, I really don't agree. All of you or with their shots, they've been kind of wrongly used. I didn't see you doing anything really good with it. The guy didn't ever have to retreat, he just moved a bit away, so yeah, not really effective. You really have too much squads. 
as I said, you finally got the level 2 on supply art, but yeah, I don't know, be careful with those engineers. You don't want to lose them. They are already veteran C2. Could have fired at the vaults instead of retreating, if you saw it directly. Um, so yeah, you once again lost the Etigan, which is your only hope against the Stook. You should have been much, much more careful with the Etigans. And at least keep getting them once you have two or three, you could have easily killed everything. Um, maybe not the Nebels, but yeah, you had the infantry to overrun. One just won't be able to counter them from frontal armor. Definitely not. You could be using Rangers. I mean, if the guy is really too strong in this position, just send one just on his base and start killing his base. Even if he's defensive, if you're using fire up or hiding behind the the um, green cover over there, and um, you could start killing his base, and the guy would be like, he would feel like he has to react, maybe spread his units and force him to do mistakes, and he could almost try to win. I mean, if you use the artillery, maybe on this building, and one just also. Maybe why not? Yeah, you you might have been able to win by by actually killing his base, forcing him, forcing him to react there. Since the start, you always fight it where you was at the strongest, even not capping this fuel. And yeah, I don't know. You get one more hit again, but. Every previous one you lost them so fast. I hope you'll be more careful with this one. And you should be focus firing on Pioneer. Always try to focus fire units. Kill the medics also. He already got so much squads. He lost a squad but we don't care, you have too much squads. Artillery is still doing absolutely nothing. It's still at 3 kills. <laughs> you have it since like um Half the game and it's only uh, at so few kills. It's really bad. Don't lose that engineer. And yeah, once again, Etigan being easily overrun by infantry. You should be repairing it. Don't send it in the battle because you will lose it so fast you should be definitely repairing it before it will probably die on that nebel fire or nev not even the nebel I think maybe it was the stook the guy finally pushing for him, pushing a bit forward as he should have done since Really long time. The game is really crazy long. could ever lose the squad, I mean, you still have too much of them. <laughs> and once again, Etigan coming alone. You didn't keep any alive more than two minutes. Um. And yeah, the <laughs> mighty pioneer blob. Um, definitely, when there's cover like that, if we are on the map, that's really, really strong to get frequency pioneers in the blob like that. 
and you didn't really get anything to counter it, that being snipers or tank or... I think yeah, since he spammed so much stug, sniper would have been better than tank mm, for that purpose. And he's <laughs> friendly trying to kill your base. <laughs> it again got two more kills at some point. <laughs> Didn't see that. <laughs> That's to guess. Now some amount of kill. And you keep throwing sticky bombs and using your munitions for that and the guy keep repairing them, so... That's really not... <laughs> Not good. <laughs> you finally have two eighty guns. You should be trying to use them to get a creep towards your opponent. And yeah, you finally killed that one stook. <laughs> Maybe if the second one, I don't know, but it's definitely too late for you. The guy might be floating lots of resources. And um, he's really capping the map. I'm not sure why you're ever trying that. He probably has so much registered that should we. Um, And where is the AT gun? Yeah, you lost to Nebel once again. Well, the guy has been getting... The Fremark player get got like the good units pretty much since the start of the game. He always had the units he needed. Those took spam, then the Nebels, then the Flame Pioneers. He really got the right units. Um, he's using it pretty, pretty, pretty badly. Um, I mean, those two, he got them he lost them so easily in the early game um, stuff like that but he definitely had a nice game plan he really got the nice units when he needed them I'm not sure about the ATI but at the end since you didn't capture it when you could have it, wor it worked kind of well for him um, but yeah that, that's it I think game will be over um, yeah he finally you finally left. Um, well, it's nice that you tried until the end because the guy had weaknesses, um, so I cannot blame you that. But it was really long for me. Um, I really told everything I wanted to tell since a long time, so I didn't tell that much toward the end of the game. So I hope this one will be as helpful for you. I hope you guys watching it enjoyed um, that blind cast first one my channel I'm not even sure if other people are doing it um, so yeah for the very first time shot yes please for of war um, let me know if you like that or not um, if you like it I will do more of that of them um, oh yeah, I also promised I would um, do some casts of my games but I'm not playing too much recently so I don't really have any g game of myself to shortcast but um, once I play some games I definitely think about casting them. So guys let me know what do you think about this one. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for the nice comments and that stuff.